Over the years, there have been growing concerns regarding the higher number of spoiled ballots recorded in Ghana's elections. It is an established fact that if the rejected ballot syndrome were a candidate in Ghana's elections, it would have been the third force having recorded the third highest number of votes right from the 1992 general elections. The staggering number of spoiled ballots, which is an embarrassment to our democracy, reflects a strong clue that illiteracy or probably inadequate education impacted negatively on how people voted. To help reduce this worrying menace, authorities at the Valley View University Basic School are adopting steps used in general elections in its campus electoral college. This, according to the headmistress of the school, Mrs. Mavis Ousu Dakon, is to introduce its pupils to the proper way of voting before they turn age 18. You know, by 18, the Obamis vote in the country. So as they learn, they will know how to use the ballot papers correctly. And there wouldn't be any spoilage during when they are 18 and they are to vote. So it's just a matter of using the materials and know how to use it better. And we want to bring to the notice of the case how to use the electoral papers effectively. You know, at the end of every election, the number of spoilage papers that they record is so high that if we start in our schools, it will help to inculcate in the case how to use the ballot papers very well so that when it comes to their turn to vote, they will know how to go about it. For Mr. Peter A.J., who is the returning officer for the school's electoral system, the rate at which rejected ballots are being recorded across the country could only be tackled by, by introducing proper voting methods in our schools. We have not been trained into doing it. Our curriculum doesn't make you, uh, uh, room for uh, voting. And it is also a national uh, situation because whether we like it or not, democracy has come to stay with us and we have accepted it. So voting will continue to happen. So we think that uh, uh, it is important we do that. And when we do that at this level, it will become part of the children, pass and parcel of the children, and then when they grow, they will be able to uh, do it well. I would even wish that the GS will come in with a sort of a program to continue to educate the children at this level so that by the time they go to senior high school, they know how voting is all done. To these children who went through the voting experience with the EC materials for the first time in their lives, is there anything new they have learned through the process? Um, today is my first time voting and I've learned a lot of lessons from it. Like if you vote twice, your paper will be rejected. And we don't vote folding the paper horizontally. You have to vote folding the paper vertically. The, one of the reasons I know why you don't fold the paper horizontally is that if you vote for a candidate on the top or in the middle, immediately you fold it horizontally. It appears on the other um, candidate's own, so your paper will be rejected. The new thing I've seen about voting is that it will help us so that when we grow up, we can vote properly. Or when we grow up, we don't know how to vote. And we give wrong voting. Our voting will be rejected. So the person we voted for will not have his or her vote. Uh, I would say thanks to the electoral commission, I got to know about the indelible ink, voting booths, and the ink pad. So I got to know that the indelible ink is to prevent double and multiple voting, and the voting booth is also to ensure that secret is to ensure secret voting. Some of them indicated that they will extend the knowledge they have had on voting to their respective families at home. Mostly, the elders are not educated on how to vote and fold their papers. So when I go home, I'll make sure I'll assemble the few people there and educate them on how to vote for the paper and how to put their thumbprint on the paper properly. When I go home, I'll and teach my friends and even my parents about how to go through these exercises so that um, during the 2020 elections, there will be a fair um, voting. 
but is the intention only aimed at reducing the higher number of rejected ballots in our elections? Mr. Peter J tells me the school is also discouraging its pupils from voting based on materials received from candidates as it goes down to breed corruption. Because of that aspect of the politics in this country, we consciously inform the children, especially the voters, that they shouldn't entertain anyone who come promising heaven on earth. They should also uh, entertain who will be giving them gifts. And anyone who is seen giving gifts for voting will be banned. So we did not see that. We even told them the reason why people have, have become corrupt in this country. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichina. <laughs>